Hi, I'm Graham Pullen, and I'm marginally insane. On fishing, that is. Now, most of you people out there, you've been to the fishmonger's slab and you've seen all the flatfish on offer. You've seen dabs, you've seen plaice, you've seen flounders. But have you ever seen a flatfish that's so wide, so big, even a fisherman's measurement arms can't even fit there? Now, for common skate, you need a really big rod and reel. And this one here is a really big rod and reel. It's got 50 pound line on it, but you also need a strong leader and a strong hook. Giant size 10 O's or 11 O hooks, but most important with a common skate is how you hook it. And this is how I'm going to hook it for you. It's called a lace bait. First thing I do is cut the tail off. That stops a bait spinning in the tide. You take your hook and you put it through, right through the center of the skin, just missing the bone. I bring it out slide it through, cross over, put it in, bring it out, slide it through. And then when I get to the top here of the head, it goes straight in, straight out, but put the split here in the back. And when you fold the hook back and put all this tight here, it goes down snugly and there you go. It's sitting up tight. This won't spin if there's a strong tide. Down it goes. Beautiful bait. Basically, common skate, here we come. Court McSherry is a place known as the best kept fishing secret. Located west of Cork on the south coast of Ireland, this picturesque estuary is home to a few commercial fishing boats. They supply many of the restaurants with fresh fish lobsters, crabs and prawns, all caught from the waters just outside of Cork McSherry Bay. The estuary is a wildlife refuge. Lots of birds, even seals and occasionally whales are seen there. It's a popular holiday spot for those in the know. Beaches, restaurants, bars and accommodation and of course the means to get out to sea. The two 38-foot charter boats take out angling parties and they leave the harbour at around 9.30 or 10 in the morning. Yeah, a late start maybe, but they will stay out till 6 if the fishing is good. And it very often is. Big common skate hunt the tide races off the old head of Kinsale and the Seven Heads Peninsula. That means deep water, strong tides, and lots of feed for them. These table sized rays are in a league of their own, and trust me, they're enormous. Once you get the boat anchored and the baits settled down on the seabed, you can expect a bite at almost any time. If you do get a hook up, you better expect to bend in the rod for a very long time. Right, here we have Michael Pullen from England. And he's got a fish hooked up and we're going to show you the bend in the rod. It's a 50 pound blank and you just decide whether or not you think it's a big fish. That is a big fish. Well, after 33 minutes, Mike's finally getting the fish near the surface now. Our captain is ready in the gaffs. All the other crew are ready. But look at the bend in this rod. 
That's what you call a bend in a fishing rod. So we're hoping we're going to get lucky and we can show you this. White of the fish is coming up, tail wrapped. That looks like a real clonker. He's wrapped in the tail, Mike. That's why it's... Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a decent, uh, decent size. It's big enough, trust me. I'm just going to nick it. Woo! Gas guard! He's ripped the gap out! How big is that fish? Bastard. Right, That's powerful. He's woke up now because yeah. he's... Well, don't break him off so now. He's you have to, you have, no, he's not now. He's, un, he's untangled his tail. Did it untangle the tail? Yeah, just... Did you have to fill on? Yeah, he's run off with a gaff, tore the gaff out of his hand. On the boat. Just tore it out, just tore it out. I'll just show you the video. You can see it over there. Over there. Look at the size of this thing. That is big. Take your time, Mike. Don't let it rock bust. Just six feet away, just six feet. Just get one good gap in, Tim. Don't take that hook things out. So good, Good fish. <laughs> You'll be walking bow-legged all your life. Oh, yeah, like a bulldog. A monster skate. That's a beauty. That's my biggest. I mean. Easy. That's bigger than the other. We wouldn't have got it in the boat, right? <laughs> it's too big. I'll have to go in the cabin to get the picture. We need a bigger boat, Skip. That is a Cormac common skate. A monster. These angling boats operated for the big skate have specialist skippers. None of the fish are killed. They are all returned alive. And they have a numbered cattle tag to supply research information when recaptured. It has been found from recaptured fish that they do return to the same areas each season. Right, we're going to tag this one. Male fish. Tag it just about here. You there we go. It. And it's cool. Good man. Compared to a shark, Mike? Right? Ah, different story. Whole new ball game. Getting the head off the floor is the problem. Once it's up, you're fine. <laughs> the common skate don't start small. They're just born plain big. 75 to 100 pounds would be a good average size out here. And you don't need to be an expert to catch one. You just need plenty of muscle. summer of 2011 all records were broken in just one day by skipper Niall O'Sullivan. His anglers hooked an astonishing number of giants including two that could have broken the Irish record. No, I just want to show you that um, skate day for Saturday, Saturday the 23rd of July. Unbelievable, it was just unbelievable fishing. I've never had anything like it, you know. I heard about it, I did yeah. hear about it on the Great Bowl, it travels yeah. fast here. We hooked 16 common skates and we landed 12. Yeah. 
that's never been done here before? Never been done here before. The most I ever had was five in one day. Good, good. That was exceptional. Would you say there's something like a European record? Because I've never heard anywhere that in Europe's had fishing of that size. I mean, in a minute we'll tell the people of what size these skate are. They're immense, aren't they? They're unbelievable. I, um, yeah, uh, we, we estimated, I estimated yesterday, we probably broke the Irish record twice on, on Saturday. Right. Good, yeah. good. And one was a monster fish, yeah? One was a monster fish up to, I'd say, 250 pounds. But uh, yeah. as uh, there, I, I think one of the main reasons for this is conservation. There's no two ways about it, you know. Now, what sort of size, say, the biggest six fish you've got there, what sort of size do you think they be? Well, the biggest, Reel we, them off we have me. two, we have 250 pounds, 240 pounds, 200 pounds, 170 pounds, 140 pounds. Well, I hope I get a sample of that. We've, we've had some fantastic skate fishing ourselves, but when you think some of these fish are twice as big as the ones we've shown you, it's just beyond belief. Well, we've, we've gone near the end of the day. We've had another two fish we've lost. Five minutes of packing up. I broke another fish off. Took me to the bottom. We're out of rock. Now I've got a good fish. Ran off line. I piled the pressure on him. Rod's about to break. I'm on braid, which I'm hoping is going to get the fish off the bottom. I can't get any more pressure on him. And he's still down there. Since fighting this one, I've been about 15 minutes. You can see that I've got a fish here, and the other two lads both hooked up. So we're bound to lose something, but fingers crossed we're going to get to show you one. Many big skate are lost through anglers using the wrong size tackle. You need at least 50 pound line, a strong rod and a lever drag reel. If you don't use this, the odds are stacked heavily in favour of the fish. Even then you may have to use what is known as a shoulder harness and butt pad. It helps you take some of the pressure from your back and arm muscles. One tip is to use short, fast rod pumps to take up the slack quickly. It keeps the fish coming towards you. If you don't max out that rod pressure, you could end up being there all day. And your next visit will be with the osteopath. Oh, you son of a bitch. You... Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Ripping it. Oh. oh, he's ripping me back. Not We're back. on full drag here. Full drag. I got thumb on the line up the front, up the top of the butt. Ow, burn my thumb. I got the real lock top on drag, I got no more drag. I got my thumb on the foregrip. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, all that worked for nothing. Oh, it's a bloody skipper's fault. Common skate is the biggest flat fish you can catch anywhere in Europe. And here off Court McSherry, they have the highest concentration of these giants. You look at the size, this is an absolutely immense fish. It's got a little lice all over it here, it's got sea lice. You can just see the sea lice moving there like a parasite. You can see it moving, there goes one there. And this is a male fish because it's got big claspers, so that's a male one. And up the top end, well, I start at the bottom end there, you can see they got thorns on top of the tail there. So when you grab them by the tail, be careful. Absolutely, they're lethal sharp. And this is like a sort of cartilage or bone. This is all their wings. And then up here, like an immense jaw with crushing teeth. Now, I'm not going to put my finger in there, but they extend outwards like that. I pull him, you can see, he extends, he's crushing the foot. That's how they come out, they can take a really big bait. Take a big bait, see how it opens up? Listen to it crunching, it's absolutely crunching there. You got it there? Yeah, yeah. One, eight, two, three. One, eight, two, and one, four, two. Okay. 
that's where they breathe through and you can see his eye here. But they'd be pretty much scent hunters rather than visual because their eyes are on top of their head. They're called cattle tags. You used to go through the ears of cattle. That's popped in. Shake it out. 41869. And there's a fisheries board there. And that's ready to go. And that could last 15 or 20 years on this fish. They don't pop out. So the next person that catches it, they remeasure it and they can find out what their growth rate is and more important, where they've travelled to on migration. Let's get it back in the water.